Starting off turn 13, um, just had an opportunity to fire last turn and was able to shoot Boris. I, uh, Rocking Horse Dreams and I, this is, this is, um, we each made a similar error based on that I, I think that wouldn't have happened if we were playing face to face. So earlier I didn't realize Annie Oakley had another card and so I behaved as though she didn't and I got two guys shot. Now, luck has has gone my way so that I think I'll be able to erase that problem. However, um, Rock and Roll Streams made a similar error. He didn't realize Marcus had two cards, so I was able to just shoot him with a Henry 44. I could take another shot at him this turn. Um, on a seven or better, I get it, but I don't know. Well, so I, I'll be straight. I could probably do it and have a good chance of killing Boris right now. But I think Boris is heading north, and I think I, I like the idea of Pyraxian getting the, the final shot. Um, that's maybe not the most logical choice, but I, I feel like, you know, should these people have been in contact, they would communicate about that. And Pyraxian, I could see him, he seems like a little bit of a bastard. Um, being like, save the Russian for me, I want to shoot him with my varmint rifle. Um, so, and plus Marcus is, is injured and if he shoots he's going to have to wait another turn to get the wound mender that um, Arden Glein is going to be bringing to him. So, which will, will be the, the erasing of that blunder um, for him. Arden Glein already got his health back that he lost from from Annie Oakley by um, amazing a challenge. He he amazed Sun Tzu, I believe. Oh no no, he amazed he did Sun Tzu wasn't involved, but he um, became Shogun and that was great for him. He did some some strategy and became a Shogun. Uh, I think the cubes in the tower also helped him. So this turn what am I looking at doing? Um, I'm gonna be Exchanging the wound mender between these two, and that's probably about all they'll do. I think I'll have them kind of move this way in exchange, so that they'll be ready to go here. I got a quandary with with the the Sarge. Um, Annie Oakley didn't didn't uh, kind of called my bluff. She didn't she didn't move. She's just shooting away at nine one one. I wonder if I don't want them to keep doing that, to keep just just let them have their little standoff. I feel like it might um, go through the rest of the, the game, but then what do I do with him? I guess I could have him go to the future labyrinth. Um, I don't know, I'll have to think on that. Uh, Geronimo, I already moved him to here. I'm going to keep Pyraxian there. Uh, though, uh, maybe I'll move him so that he's got a little bit of a better shot at Boris. I don't know. That's another thing I'll, I'll think about. As Marcus moves across, Boris reveals his navy pistol and fires. He hits. And... Green. Against red. That's nine. He needs a nine to squeak. Let's get an eight to pass. He does the damage. Three. Marcus is dead. Hmm. 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 I should have fired. He should have fired. Instead he fell. Fell prey, victim to his own hubris. Instead of playing cat and mouse games with the enemy, a very, I'm now learning, real enemy, a very deadly enemy. He should have treated it with the respect that one who treats a scorpion, treats a scorpion or or a viper, or a very real man, a mercenary no less, 
who has killed and intends to kill again. Marcus Aurus has fallen prey, the first on my team to do so, but I'm, I'm starting to feel perhaps not the last. He was a, he was perfect and maybe that perfection led to his false sense of security that even when faced face to face beyond the haze of the, the smoke and the fire that that stern man that stern Russian man who who was so accomplished at at murder for money even when he was beaten you know, shot full of pellets from Annie Oakley's gun instead of shooting he turned turned away and is now dead uh, a navy pistol shot in his back Marcus is dead but Geronimo in his honor did amazing I think Annie would send some some good vibes to Annie it's Wheel of Four. She has to be getting frustrated. We all know it. You can do it, Annie. You can roll that four that you need. I believe. That is a four. That is not. So she misses. Boris is kind of pinned here. Um, Arden got that long rifle. That is a beauty. Maybe we'll move him anyway. I mean, we're getting towards where if I don't get something going, I'm not going to get something going. So we'll just move him. He's going to get shot. Um, but maybe he won't get hit with all of this with all of this business going on two three four I'll just leave him there he has a range of five So if Arden moves next turn, he can get hit. Um, there's a negative one penalty for this. Um, for being in there. So we'll just leave him there. Um, over here, Gawain will, or Pat will get there. And one, two, three. up there. If we can get something going here. Um, well, <laughs> everyone else is doing pretty well over there. So, I think we'll let them have their fun in the Guardian. Maybe Boris can get some shots off. And get, get a party started. She needs to start hitting. Let us see what Pat can make of the ninja assassin. He needs an 8 to squeak, so let's get a 7 to pass. Submachine gun. Range of six. His. I called it dexterity and then I looked it up and that's not dexterity. It's something else. So that works nicely. Hopefully we can use that. But he's banished. I really needed him to advance that. So 
so that Gawain could just do it this turn as well. 